Hey Scorpios, let's sling some cards guys. Let's see what's coming out for my Scorpios this week. It's for my Scorpio. Ooh, let's do a better shuffle. Feels a little cold. For my Scorpios. Right there. Let's get it going. It's for my Scorpios. What's coming out this week for my Scorpios? Talk to us, Pop. Oh, we got confusion coming out. No certainty in answers. Having doubts or hesitations. No clear direction. State of disorder or chaos. Doubts and hesitation really stood off of the card. Hmm. See what else will come out. It's for my Scorpios. Pop. We've got maturation. Spiritual and emotional maturation, awareness and understanding, evolved outlook and life perspective, experienced or exercising good judgment. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else will come out here. Lust. Lust is coming out. <clears throat> Strong sexual desire, absence of deep, long-lasting connection. Your partner has a big sexual appetite, imbalance of sexual energy. Clarify on the lust for me, please, real quick. Clarify the lust. Mm. Singlehood. You're enjoying freedom and liberation, not ready for commitment in married life. Working on self-growth and improvement. Uh, securing financial wealth and independence. Okay. So, there's our clarity. Let's see what's up on the bottom of this deck. Trauma is on the bottom of the deck. In the depths of the shadow is trauma. Past life influence, influences and emotional triggers. Healing and recovering. Unprocessed hurt and pain. Scars and unhealed wounds. Okay, guys. I don't know if it's our connection with someone. Or if it's us noticing... Um, <clears throat> Or intuiting because my Scorpios are so, um, how do I put it, intuitive, empath, understanding. We dive deep on a person's shadow. We can see their truth before they can. Uh, reading someone else's energy. So, like I said, I don't know if this this is a connection we're in or trying that we were attempting or if it's someone we care about but we're seeing something about them because it's the i'm having doubts and hesitations i can see what's going on the eyes of wisdom uh on on your energies uh and we're seeing somebody has just got the infatuation part of a energy and they're more comfortable be staying single because of this because of this trauma this unprocessed hurt and pain but uh, we may be seeing seeing that you know they think they're in love they're i think i'm ready for a commitment i think this is the one but from our standpoint we're going no you just think it you're too scared of it that kind of thing so and like i said i don't know if it's a, a connection that we have that you know we're trying to build a something solid with someone or if it's someone we care about that we're seeing this this week about them uh, and what they're not seeing about their self so because we definitely have um doubts and hesitations about um someone being committed and stuff they're blind to it we're seeing what they they can't see about their self mm, or about a connection that they they are in so yeah let's pull some of the deeper a little bit deeper on the shadows we're using barely existing deck let's just see what what you're seeing let's see what you're seeing the depths of what you're seeing about someone this way where's Oh, we got one that turned over. Complex and complicated. Mm -hmm. They're complex and complicated when it comes to them knowing their self. Uh, not, they don't understand. They're not understanding their self. Let's put it that way. Casual counterparts. Uh, okay. The singlehood. I'd rather be single and but we're trying but we're hoping we're falling into the infatuation of 
Ooh, it's serious when uh, we're seeing no, it's not. What else are, are they seeing? Negligence and abandonment. Mm -hmm. I want to go one more. I feel like we need to go one more because this is the trauma that's caused the um, issue for the person. But it also can be what triggers them after because it's so complicated. They, they don't understand their self. They will actually go into self-sabotage uh, anytime they try to draw in a close connection or build something solid with someone disoriented yeah we see them as disoriented not understanding their self and <clears throat> how they can fall in love so fast but at the same time fall out of love so fast <laughs> bottom of the deck we've got commitment issues yeah okay so we definitely either we're seeing it about someone else and a connection they're in or it's us actually seeing someone that we we uh, were trying to you know connect with or bond with and we're seeing the the, the maturity of it of no they're not able to let's come in on the uh doubts and hesitations reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life remember it's up to you if you want to revisit the past oh guys it may be ours but i'm gonna go one more because like i said for some reason i'm feeling like we are seeing it about someone else it's not actually that we're in it but some of us you may actually be but we've got wait don't feel rushed to make a decision right now spend time alone meditating upon what truly makes you happy oh i may be wrong but for someone it's you know i really feel like we're not actually in the connection we care about the person but we also know them the depths of them mm. we'd be seeing them going through some real happy highs and us knowing we've seen the real happy lows also, like it's a pattern. Coming in on that maturity, you seeing deeper on a situation. We got expansion. You're dissolving your limitations and making great progress, reaching new heights of what's possible. Expansion. I, don't, I feel like I need to go one more on the expansion also. Expansion. Oh, right there. Oh, the witch. <laughs> Awaken your inner witch. Put all of your fierce and feminine powers to work. Guys, the fact that we got the inner witch, the feminine powers, it, it is us coming in. It's not, it's not us judging someone or being critical of them. It's us being understanding of it. It's like, yeah, I, I get it. Even when you don't get it, I see your truth. And I understand you can't. You're not able to see your own truth over here on the lust we've got decisions if you take too long to decide worries egos limiting beliefs and the opinion of others will begin to creep in and the opinion of others will begin to creep in going one more on the decision also options you may be focusing too much on one thing or person that you're failing to see there's other great options, other great options. Guys, it's, it's like I said, we already know this person will commit fast and then uh, fall out of the commitment just as fast. <laughs> I'm in love and all of a sudden it dwindles away and they can't understand it about themselves uh they can't see what you're seeing they don't understand uh, things about what they're going through the way that you can understand it for them coming in on weight in the reconciliation the doubts and hesitations mm. oh and for for whoever this is that because like i said either it's us or it's someone else we may be watching someone else fall back in love with, you know, an ex or something like that. And us seeing and knowing what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, we've got Lighthouse. You're a light that can't be hidden, so don't even try to dim it for anyone. And what else? Unlocking solutions through compromise, you will create the successful outcome you're hoping for. 
compromise. And that compromise may be us just standing back and going, okay, <laughs> just let it, let, let, let it take its course. Coming in on the expansion and the witch. Temptation, what is tempting you at this moment may not be a wise choice. And it may be a wise choice not to even try to clue the person into what you're seeing about them, what you have known and understand about them. It may just be time for you to stand back and just let it, let it go. Let them keep going, you know, fall into their old pattern. Decisions and options, we're getting two on it see what's coming out here capricorn capricornius Ooh. challenges it will not be an easy path but if you build discipline you will achieve your goal mm -hmm. and helping hand the universe is helping you find something you need that will lead you to the next step uh with this these coming out guys and the decision us making the decision do i talk to them about it do i mention it what i see uh, it's insinuating this way. It's not going to help. They're not going to see it. They're not going to understand it the way that you understand it. Uh, and trying to point it out, point something out about them, they would only feel attacked. Um, so it's just better to the discipline of, I see it. I'm just, you know, going to let it ride. Just let them go with it. <laughs> yeah. Mm, can't, I can't convince them of anything. Yeah. So, yeah, because mm. it's got us wanting, you know, we know how, you know, if they could just see it for themselves, they would probably be able to click all the answers would fall into place for them, um, the trauma and stuff, but you can't force someone. And if it's not time, it's just not time. So don't be tempted to keep going at them with, with, let me help you understand yourself here because <laughs> they're not going to. Miro, what you see is your reality will always come from within you. Mm -hmm. Will always come from within you. Go one more on the Miro for us. Clarify that one because that's almost like you looking at the other person going, look in the Miro. Just, just look. What are you seeing? Chalice, empty your cup so that it may be filled with blessings of love yeah we know how to give advice we understand what they're going through but they don't they can't see it and they're not right now their eyes i uh, wouldn't eyes and ears are not open to see or hear it coming in over here on maturation black magic this storm will teach you to be stronger and wiser than ever before. Le leave them to, to like I said, is self-discipline, stand back. Their ears can't hear you. They're not open to hear it, and their eyes can't see it right now. You just got to let them go through the storm again. <laughs> Let's put it that way, again. Because we may have been, you know, watching somebody do a pattern. Coming in on helping hand and their challenges they're going through. We've got school. Real transformation requires real honesty to move forward in life. Yeah, they're not ready for the real honesty, you know, with self. So they can't hear it from someone else. It's, it would be, they would feel like they're being criticized or attacked or, you know. We've got athame. Mm. Be cautious. Conflict is inevitable. But how you respond is optional. How do you want to respond? For some of us, the maturity of it is not at all. I'm just going to just let you do what you do. I'll do what I do. <laughs> let me go do something else right now because I don't want to watch you go through this. And yeah. Uh, okay. Let's get some more for my Scorpios. This has got y'all like the hardcore tough love this week with someone of seriously. You may need to just uh, not be around them, not listen to them, <laughs> not have to deal with it this <clears throat> this week, leave them to their self. Because it's got us like the ultimate counselor that's hand, hand their hands are tied. <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can do to help. Uh -huh. Ask for guidance. Only only give advice if they ask, and then give the real advice. But don't don't offer don't offer any opinions or anything else until you're asked. And if you're asked, give it and then walk away. 
give without expectations of anything yeah if you give if they ask for your advice your opinion of something give your true honest opinion what you're seeing but don't expect them to be able to hear you or anything else or see it your way because it's probably truth hurts guys sometimes the truth when you hit a chord truth it hurts what else have you got focus on the positive Mm -hmm. focus on the positive and release toxic relationships uh, like I said this might be your week of you don't want to be around, if it's a friend something like that you don't want to be around them uh, and if it is someone that is coming back wanting to get with you and you're seeing you know without a doubt they've not gone through their healing they're still uh, got commitment issues trauma and stuff like I said when they ask <laughs> give them the truth but don't expect you know them to have that aha moment of i get it now no because they're not going to get it release it yeah it's time for you to uh, pull yourself away from it Ooh, <laughs> let's get you some blessings this week scorpio <clears throat> the ultimate counselor this week <laughs> With your hands tied, because there's nothing you can do to counsel them right now. They're not open to it. Mm -mm. Blessings for my Scorpios. We've got three out here. There's one more. Hold on. The deck is like, don't stop. Yeah, there it went. Mm -hmm. See what your blessings are. A blessing for unity where once there was a division. Look at the rabbit's ears, guys. And this is what is reminding me of our Capricorn energy, the challenges. Uh, because of the Queen of Pentacles, she's always got her hair with her. The hair, not the rabbit. Uh, the hair does not run when it gets spooked. It actually pricks its ears up. It looks around and it determines. I mean, it's it's for some reason it's smarter than a bunny rabbit. <laughs> when it comes to being analytical about things, it doesn't run, but it it knows when to run. If it was the shadow a hawk or was it a, you know a cloud going over, the rabbit can't tell the difference. But a hare will always check it out first before it takes off running. Ooh, okay, so a blessing for unity where there was once division. A blessing for good men and fathers this week. Ooh, good men and fathers being the mature. Uh, just don't think of just gender here because um, think of the energy. Because uh, like I said, we're, we're in a good a position where we're seeing and it's like counseling. Uh, and we're actively wanting to counsel, but our hands are tied when it comes to it because they're not open to it. That's like a father... Uh, masculine energy that's not investing so much on an emotional level uh, with someone else. A blessing to erase, to ease, erase, look guys, erase. <laughs> I don't know about dyslexia. A blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship. A blessing. Oh, okay. And a blessing on a new venture adventure or adventure so yeah this this might be our week to redirect our focus to uh, away from you know trying to get someone to see the way we see and understand the way we understand so yeah but think of earth energy focus on the material world let's get you on your material wor world and where you want what you're wanting to create uh it might be a good week just to focus in on job career studies things like that creating something tangible with our hands instead of fixing problems for someone else messages from spirit for you this week for my scorpios time to love yourself and <laughs> love yourself just love yourself focus on yourself this week instead of someone else and what else for my Scorpios? Ooh, that one's trying to come out. Get my fingers to work. You're discovering your life purpose. You're discovering your life purpose. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Because I keep saying counselor. Counselor. Ah, might be time. 
guys. Yeah. Miracles happen in every moment. Don't lose faith. I feel like I need to go one more. What else for my Scorpios here? What? Oh, there it goes. You are so dearly loved. You are so dearly loved. Oh, I love that. Scorpios, y'all have a beautiful week.